the bridle real well. Um, that'd be one thing she'd need to cover. So we're gonna work on bridling here for a few minutes. Uh, even though I put the bridle in her mouth. You know, see how she's throwing her head like that? Catcher. There's a ship on the ocean at the mercy hey girl. of the sea. Good girl. It's been tossed back. So her jerking away uh, like she did. If I wouldn't let go of the rope, she probably would have drugged me. So the best thing is just let the horse go. You know, you go and catch them. So this horse has, you know, other issues going on, and not just bucking issues. Not just bucking issues. Um, she wants to keep pulling back. Uh, when I ask her to move something, she pulls away from me. So that's what we're going to have to sit here and work on today. Good girl. We're going to try to get these reins wrapped up around her first. So the horse like this, I wouldn't even want to get on and start seeing little fucking until later. That someone out there still believes. What she's gonna do is she's gonna back up and I'm just gonna go with her. On a prayer. Until I get some forward movement. <laughs> I'm gonna keep concentrating on that hip and it keeps me until she moves forward. She's gonna get tired of Back it up here in a minute, and I'll catch up with her. Against the wind. Well, I'm reaching out till we reach the that way. Hey, girl. When you come back to me, I'm gonna back her out here a little bit so we have some more room to work with her on. There's no so I'm gonna keep going after that hip. And when she takes a step forward right there, then I'm gonna release the pressure. In our own hey, girl. Time. So there's a lot of other problems this horse has right now besides bucking. You know, bridling, she didn't really accept the bridle all that great. When I asked her to move forward, she thought she was going to get hurt, so she pulled away and ran down there. So we don't need to start with bucking today. We're not even going to deal with the bucking issue right off the bat. We're going to start teaching her a pattern of control. Go forward, stop, back up, change direction stuff like that, so at least I have some type of control over what she's doing on the ground. Good girl, so we're going to start again, and ask her to go forward. Good girl, stop your feet, pause, release her, and then go back to the right. And then go back to the right. So what we're basically de dealing with, first we're going to work on bucking, then it was, well, maybe we have to work on bridling, but then this all of a sudden came out. Now we're dealing with a scared horse, the abused horse. He has been abused in the past by men. Um, and when a horse gets girl, Good, so right there. Keep going forward. Good girl. And stop. Yes, and back this way. So we're actually teaching this horse how to lead better. Um, she's not very well good, but they're hoping to do something. You know, we're working on some type of negative behavior. You know, like uh, sacking her out. Um, the negative behavior is she's shy back here. She's worried about being back here. If I go to the back a little bit, you know, I'm, I'm pretty safe right here. Uh, good girl. And uh, so if you think you're going to get kicked, don't go that far. If you don't think she's going to kick you or you're, pretty, or you're positive she's not going to kick you, you know, just stand back just a little bit in case until she becomes really comfortable with it. So we covered the, we were going to cover bucking. There's no reason to get on this horse today or tomorrow or for a while because she has other issues she needs to go through, except in a bridle, uh, blanketing, saddling, then doing lots of bit work, then getting on her as far as the bucking part goes. But, you know, she's an abused horse and she has to learn how to trust people again in a way she's going to learn how to trust people again.